Some folks say me woman love me Some folks such a don't But it don't make no doubt Don't dip and touch alone Cause I'm getting what I want uh, Ain't steady Uh-huh Ain't steady Mr. Rush What happened to Everything Everything's good I'm here with Stephanie Good morning Mr. Rush Hey Stephanie I'm so I'm glad we got a reading Bob <laughs> Yeah I got I got two hens For you right here Mr. Rush. I got some more hens I'm ready for you, I'm ready buddy. I'm ready I'm ready And we got you Portia like Bobby Rush. That's it We got Portia as well man Hey Bobby hey, How you doing okay. man Thank I'm you so good. much for giving us some of your time. This is truly an, an honor. honor. It is an, an honor. Yes, it is. And a pleasure to talk to the great, the one, the only, Bobby yeah. Rush. Wait, you got to say it twice. Bobby <laughs> Rush, Bobby <laughs> Rush. Bobby Rush, Bobby Rush. <laughs> there you go. Uh, blues in the basement. You know what? You have a cult following, man. When, when somebody says Bobby Rush, then people are like, yeah, I'm going to see Bobby Rush. And, you know, are excited. <laughs> Excited that you're coming to town. How's it been going? Well, the thing's going good. I, I, I'm, I'm blessed uh, to be around for uh, six years or better, and, and uh, this is my 337th record. Wow. wow. So, so uh, I'm so blessed, you know. During the time when I started, though, uh, Tracy, I, I, we were doing 45 and 7 or 8. You know, like, <laughs> Take them back. School and Bobby. School real then quick. We went to the, then we went to the eight tracks and right. so on forty five. <laughs> now we digitize digitize ourselves and come on, we 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 in the pocket, man. There you know, go, there you go, and we're feeling it as well. Can you take us back and, and share with us what it was like for you uh, when you were out there doing the Chitlin Circuit, like really doing the Chitlin Circuit, trying to get your well, name? Well, I, I want to, cl- I can take you back, but I want to clear up something that. Uh, uh, I'm still in the chili. <laughs> <laughs> That's your bread and butter. <laughs> well, well, because I because I'm I'm a, I'm being a, a, a biblical study, and I'm not talking about religion right now. I'm talking about being a biblical study. I know that uh, everything, nothing new out of the sun, mm-hmm. and more things change, more remain the same. Right. So, but we but we escalate. Where I worked on the little club, seat a uh, hundred people or less. Now I'm working for some time, a uh, hundred thousand people or, or more. Wow! But I never forget the bridge that brought me across. So, so uh, when people say that I have moved out, I just moved up and like there you go. And right. I crossed over, but I haven't crossed out. I'm still this guy uh, where I started in 1951. So what started you singing the blues, Mr. Rush? First of all, the love of the music, you know. Then someone told me later that I could make some money with it. <laughs> so, uh, so that encouraged me even more. But the, but the love of the music, and I would start to sing the blues because that's what I love, that's what I know, and I'm not ashamed of it because uh, not only I'm a blues singer, I'm a black blues singer, and, and I'm, I'm proud of uh, both of the influence, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. So let me thank all three of you and, and, and the station manager and whoever involved. Let me thank you for what you have done, what you've done, what you plan to do, because people like your station, people who have the mindset of you all, just don't come every day because you keep the blues alive, and that's yeah. the mother of music. I'm not saying it because I'm a blues singer, because I love all kind of music, but we have to uh, remember that a stump uh, is, is the root of the tree. Mm-hmm. And, right. and, and, and blues is like the mother of music. And so when we disrespect at that, mm-hmm. uh, and said we don't like it one way or the other, then we say we don't like our mother or where it come from. Mm-hmm. So we have to educate our people and younger people especially where the music comes from. So don't, don't forget the bridge brought us across. We always want to modify things, like in radio. You want to modify, but you don't ever want to forget about where it comes from. And that's something that I, I, I watched an interview with you, and you talked about, you know, that you're the, the original rapper. <laughs> 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 and you are, Mr. Rush. <laughs> you can put words to together. <laughs> but, but you know what? It's so true, because we all talk about the rappers. We all talk about the pants now. I'm not saying... I endorse everything the rappers do, but we got to stop right. talking to uh, the rappers because if we talk about just the pants down, if we lift the head level up, the pants will come with it. Mm, right. You and know, it, and it, we, we, got to, we got to educate the people because it's like writing a book. You can only write about what you know about. So the young kids, that's what they know. That's what they love. Mm-hmm. And let's just, exactly. as long as they respect the ladies and the mothers, mothers and the old people and where they come from, uh, let the rappers do their thing because... Uh, and you're right. I but- remember... 
And we also and want them to respect you. That's right. Right. But but you know, but and, and they do as a as a whole. And they do as a whole. We just got through doing a take me to the river out of Memphis. Yeah. And the Snoop documentary. Dog, Snoop, yeah. Yes, Snoop Dogg sat behind my back and yeah. behind the curtain. That God, Law, Bobby Rush, and all the other guys. <laughs> I got my thing from them. Yeah. Make right. me feel, make me feel like uh, I'm wanted. Uh, I was worth something, you know. Yeah. You know, the younger guys saying they got something from from the older guys. So we're gonna pass the torch to the younger guy. Let them take it on and carry it on, and we're gonna support them. Well, that that would that would be my question. So, so what's new in the world of blues? It seems as if the audience well, has changed, the ticket price has changed. You guys are performing in bigger stadiums these days. You know, it's it's almost as if it's going in a different direction when it comes to the way it's being marketed. So, what's your take on the new well, world of blues? Well, the way it's being marketed is one thing because that's uh, that's a collaborative of money making. But deep down inside, the guys who sing it haven't really changed. It's just the people who own the record company have changed their approach because it's not a money issue. Mm-hmm. Because the guys can't really sing what they want to sing. I see some guys, some black guys, especially, say, I'm going to record this because I think it's what white people like. Yeah. I'm going to record like this because I think it's what black people like. Mm-hmm. I'm in a position, I'm so blessed, that I record what I feel and hope everyone <laughs> likes it. It's not a, bottom, it's right. not a black and white issue right. with me. But, but, but I say that because all, all guys can't say what I say and all the entertainers and musicians can't speak the issue that I speak so they're not free because they got the manager they got the record company and they can't really say some of the things that's on the head to say because how can you talk about a city when you wake for the city and the mayor pays you I'm independent I own my labor this is my labor I record uh, mostly the things that I like and feel I don't record everything I like and feel because I also have a boss. My boss is the public. And I got to try to do something that pleases to the public. Yes, I got to do it in a in a way where they can say, well, I don't like Bob Royce, but damn, he good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters, you know? Right, since you said that, Mr. Rush, I know you one of the best. So what's one of your favorite blue singers? Oh, God, I got several. I got several. I'll be honest with you, I, I like the Muddy Waters because he dressed so well. I like the Harlem Wolf because he sounds so different with his throat. I liked the little Walter because he was so swift with the harmonica. I liked it Funny Boy Wiggins because he was so, because his, his, his words and his song. I liked the Louis Jordan because he wrote about chicken, dog, cows, and all those <laughs> things. And that's what I really, and when you, when you, when you, when I like so many of uh, these guys, I, I take a big bowl and I put a piece of this and piece of that and piece of that one in a bowl and you stir it up all together and you come up with a Bobby Ray. I got you. Yeah. So that, I, I was so that's a like lot a of guys that I like You know, I was fortunate back in the day to see you, uh, Johnny Taylor and Bobby Bland on stage down in Memphis, <laughs> Tennessee, <laughs> man. And I promise you, that was one of the best nights of my life. <laughs> You're listening to Blues in the Basement, and our special guest is the one, the only, Bobby Rush. Those guys that you just named, those guys weren't just um, people that you like listening to. These guys were mentors and friends to you. What was it like oh, performing God, with them? That was- that was the one, one of the best time I had in my life. Was Bobby Band and I who was fifty and nine years friends. Yeah. So with Johnny Taylor, I knew him from when he was in gospel. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's such a blessing to be around people that you love and you respect and like so well. But it's such a sad feeling with none of these guys around anymore. Right. You know? Right. You still and holding I, uh, it down, Bobby? You still holding you it down. Yeah. You yeah. working it. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You know, I'm, I'm not saying it for a sad thing. I'm saying it for it's a blessing to be around right. and long to have friends and and, and have someone that you miss because it means you had friends. You know? right. yeah. For me, you and Mr. B.B. King still holding it down, man. <laughs> well, you know, it's a mention of that, mention that, you know, if you look at B.B. Uh, King, myself, popular buddy guy, yeah. Little Rich and Chuck Berry, and that's mm-hmm. Domino, the only five, only six guy left. Now, you, and on the other side of that will be Jerry Lee Lewis, who lives out in, in this area, all those uh, mm-hmm. rock and roll but but he's part of this little Rooted in the blues. Hoopy, you know, right. and, and and he's one of the guys that I kind of fell in love with. Uh, uh, a whole lot of shaking going on. <laughs> you know? and, and, and I like I like the better record, you know, and I also like the record. A gentleman had a record out way back in the past. He was, uh, 
you get the hook and I get the pole. We go down to the corner of the hole. Money, yeah. baby, mine. And I just, because I was a little kid running you around. Right and I love that the song. <laughs> Digging for them crawfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby, can you share yeah. with us a little bit about your uh, your food line? You're, you, you've got some sauces out, right? Yeah, I, I've been making sauces off the home for about 25, 30 years. I had a barbecue place in Chicago and I ran for a long time. I owned the place and, and I cooked my own, make my own sauces and, and sold it. And so it got real popular. And uh, so lately I started it back up and I'm, I'm going to put it back on the market. Now I got some people who want to take it into a, uh, a bigger venue or a bigger yeah. market part. So uh, we negotiated that now, hoping the next uh, 60, 90 days we have it on. And some stores, you know, we we show it also done in every restaurant at this moment, but we're hoping to put it in the market, in the store market. You know? That is awesome, Stephanie. Here's why I really love Bobby. Rush. Just like the Jimmy, just like the Jimmy D. You thought they got it in the store, right, <laughs> right, right, right. You know? he, Bobby Rush about that paper, okay? <laughs> and we love <laughs> that is paper. Can you but, get but here's what I really love about you is that he's managed, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he loves yeah. a big booty girl. We don't have to question, we don't, <laughs> we don't have to question whether you know, two like women. Don't. But he's always a gentleman. Tell, he's always a don't, gentleman. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> hey, let me ask this question here. <laughs> but he's always a gentleman. Can, can you tell me how you find these hens, Mr. Rush? I went out here. I auditioned. I auditioned personally. Okay, so. He's like he's stuttering now, Bobby. I hear some stuttering in the background on that question. I auditioned singly by themselves. One time. <laughs> well, Mr. Rush, I know you'll be here in May, and I, 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 I need That's to know. What I need to do to get my audition. You're, all you need to do is be that when I get there. Oh, yes, Mr. Rush, you won't be disappointed on these two. <laughs> okay, Bobby Rush. Bobby <laughs> Rush, Bobby Rush. <laughs> but, but, Bobby, what's the criteria for, for a hen to, to make the cut? Got a big boot. You, you like to eat a collard greens and peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> collard greens and peanut butter. Ooh, and I love them both. Them. I yeah, love about it. It's going to take you long to grow one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you take them yeah. on the road. Is it the same hens every time you perform, or do you switch no, them? No, I got, I got several people. I kind of switch them. I depend on the, the audience. I depend on what I'm looking for, you know. I'm a black man who's, who's uh, portrayed a black image. Yeah. And, and I love who I am. And when you're talking about... Ain't nothing wrong with the little skinny girls. Like, they look good. They look cute. I need to know how many hens waiting in line, though. I need to know what my number's going to be. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I just have a private thing. A private thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not all, it's, not all, it's, it's not always a size sometimes. It's how, my, how far it sticks out. Well, I'm, yeah. look, look, well, I'm, far it sticks I'm out. squatting and lunging right now, Mr. Rush. <laughs> Always well, a gentleman, well. always a gentleman. Now, Bobby, we had a chance to see you on J- uh, Jimmy Fallon. You were yep. on there with Dan oh, Aykroyd. So, that was a lot yeah. of fun, huh? Yeah, he's, he's my friend, and we had a lot of fun doing it. And it was a good cause, what we've done. We'd like to come salute to Jane Brown, who was my friend, and had this move out about him at that time. And it went well, I suppose. And I wasn't a part of it, but I was a part of the people who were doing it, so... I saluted and wished him well with it. That was another opportunity to get introduced to a bunch of young people, you know? Right. Introduce yeah, them yeah, to yeah, the Yeah, it was good. We, we planning to do this again. Uh, Dan Ackroyd is my friend, and he's starting a new label up now. So we've been involved, we're talking, and hopefully that we can uh, put something together. You just might see a, a, a blues brother together with a show, show that blues brother. Now, yeah. You, know? <laughs> you were produced um, at one time by Gamble and Huff, and growing up in the era where that music was like really popular, that they were producing a lot of great artists. What was that like back then working with them? It was the best experience that I ever had in my life. And they respected me so highly. I think what happened with that situation. They respected me so highly that it was good for me on one hand, bad on the other hand. Let me show you why it's bad on one hand. They trusted what I wrote and what I did so well. They never had anything to say or nothing about it. If I wrote it, it was all right. But that wasn't good for me because I wanted to write something for what they were saying. I don't like this, I do like that, and just tear down and make me a better writer. Mm-hmm. But they, they respected me so highly. Whatever I wrote was all right, and whatever I wrote wasn't all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I needed a team around me to say, hey, not that. Somebody to keep you in check. Right. Right, right, keep you in check. But whatever I wrote, they said, okay, fine. And but I, I respect that. But they thought I was the, the writer of the writer, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, and then I kind of got away from that because they were taking me so highly. And I appreciate that. And they, and they taught me a lot. Because I went to the um, uh, uh, Quincy Jones and 
hand of gambling on her. I wanted them to, so I could grow within myself, mm -hmm. to, to learn to write as a teen. I was one of the mighty three music, mm -hmm. and I was going to grow and to write. But when I got in the room, here come Barbara Rush in the room. Get him the tip of the pen. <laughs> Wherever you write is okay. Yep. They, they were humbled. They were humbled in your right, presence. Right. <laughs> and, and that just, that just, it helped me, but uh, the idea it didn't help me, you know. And I had, but I had so much fun and gained so much relationship with the guys because they were very successful, and I couldn't fight that. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you know. That was your gift, man. That was your gift. That was that was my that was my gift, and uh, that was my uh, blessing to be in the house with Kenny Gamma, Leon Huff. And Quincy Jones and all the mm -hmm. guys, you know, yeah. getting the old jazzy with that, that Taylor with that, Taylor <laughs> Pendergrove, Taylor Pendergrove with that, which was Whoa. my drama first. Yeah, you know? <clears throat> I would have loved to been in that room. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You I think I think I was rushed. Yeah, I, I with Bobby it, Rush, Bobby Rush. You, you would have left me and went to Teddy. I know. I got you. <laughs> you know I know you, Mister Rush. I don't know, Mister. Yeah. I don't know, Bobby Rush. Now you a smooth talker because these yeah. lyrics and these songs. No, I mean, Teddy, Teddy would have walked in just closed the door. <laughs> it was over, huh? It was over. <laughs> so speaking of that, Mr. Rush, how many tours are you doing? Uh, and when are you, when are you going back on the road? I'm on the road now. I've been on the road now for about four to five days. And I, oh. I'll be on the road to September 12th. Okay. So I, I noticed you're headed I, I to do, Chicago. I do, I do about 200 shows a year. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. So you're going to be uh, on the south side of Chicago hanging out with Buddy Guy real soon, huh? Yeah, I'm going to do that on the 17th. 17th. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun. I've been to Buddy Guy's the, club before. That's a good time, man. Yeah, he's a good time. He's, it's a good club, and he's a good guy. He's a good friend. And, and uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's a little bit younger than I am. Uh, <laughs> Y'all still holding it down, though. Yeah, we're still holding it down. <laughs> He's doing well with his club, and I, I take yeah. my hats off to his success, you know. Yeah, and, we, and of course you've hit the big time, too, taking it to Vegas. Well, yeah, I'm going to Vegas. Uh, I'm going to got two there. I got one in September and one in October. Right, right. Yeah, but that's not, that's not my first time. I just haven't worked it in a long time. But I <laughs> he said, I I've went, been around went, this block before. It ain't my first time, you know. So you, no, I worked, I worked it a long I got kind of burnt out with it. I worked it a long time for many, many years. Mm -hmm. You know, you get burnt out with it in a couple of so many days. And plus, when you wake Vegas, you, if you're going to Vegas for a week, you're working two shows a day, right. and you do sometimes three on a weekend, mm -hmm. God, you get burnt out, you know? Yeah. You know? That's a beautiful thing, though. It is. <laughs> you get tired of it. Did you get tired of it? Okay, I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> Today is not the day. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. Does that ever happen to you? Like, some mornings you wake up and go, you know what? Today is not the day. I'm not feeling it. Oh, God. That happens all the time. You wake up, <laughs> sometimes you don't know where you is. You want to wake up and you think you're at home. You step out the bed. You, you run into the mirror because you're in a hotel. And you wake up some morning. I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> then after you get on the stage, the people say, right. well, I like it. I said, well, I tried another day. Here you go. Another day, another dog. You know? And that's it. That's right. You're doing it for the people. And we love you. And we want to see you keep doing it. So, Bobby, we know you that know you're, you're originally from Arkansas. You grew up in Louisiana. Where do you reside yeah. now? I was really was born Louisiana. Okay. And, Home went to, Louisiana. and then went to Arkansas. Okay. And from okay. The Arkansas, I went to Chicago for 40 some odd years. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in Jackson, Mississippi, where I raise hog, cow, chicken, and everything. Wow. Yeah. Then, yeah, that, straight up yeah. farm. Let me ask ranch. you this question now. How you how you come up with the name Bobby Rush? My dad was a preacher, and I'm a junior. My real name is Emmett Ellis Jr. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's no secret. I tell it everywhere I go. And I wanted to be respect my father because he was a preacher. He was my best friend. Wow. And my mm. and my father, too. And I didn't want people to come to him and by the feet saying the blues and it could be a mistake of being a devil you know, <laughs> what have you. And, I, and I look I look for a name for about two years before I come up with this name I'm just a young boy when I come up with it I was 13 or 14 years old when I started looking for this name because I knew what I was going to do early in my life I figured that's what I was going to do saying the blues mm -hmm. and I came up by first I want to name my uh, I want to name myself some big name like President Truman now, Roosevelt, <laughs> or something. You know, some, you know, because that's what a country boy knew. I didn't know anything about anything but president name. You know, you follow me? If Obama been there, I probably would name myself Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, I want a big name, man. You know, where, where it sounds big. Yeah. But you know, I, 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 pick, I picked the name Bobby Rush because it's one silver. 
If you notice, nobody called me Rush, nobody called me Bobby. Everybody called me Bobby Rush. Right, that's true. Right. That's, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. There's a lot of Bobby, a lot of Rush, but one Bobby Rush. Do people ever, right, but do people ever get you confused with uh, the politician Bobby Rush who's in um, Chicago? No, not, not really. They kind, of, they kind of know. I was kind of raised up with, with, with him. He's not a best of friends. Good deal. And we were raised up together from when he was 18, 19 years old. So that's how long I knew. I knew him when he was a when he wasn't a preacher or conference. <laughs> I, I didn't say he was a bad boy. I like knew him when he wasn't that. We grow and we live and we right. learn. It like Paul's when we learn better, we do better. There you go. Yes, well, true. Bobby Rush, thank you so much for exactly. spending some time with us here on Blues in the Basement. It has truly been a pleasure to have a good conversation with a you. A great one. You know? Well, let, let, me, let me tell you how, how blessed I am to have you guys around. But now I've got to ask you a question. It was, now, I didn't know when I came in your building when I went up and went down. I'm kind of lost. Am I in the basement? You, you in the basement, right. baby. In the basement. <laughs> That's all I want to know. When Deep I come down in the, in the basement. Deep in the when basement. When I come in the elevator, I didn't know what it is. Oh <laughs> here's the deal. What yeah, happens in the basement <laughs> stays in the basement. <laughs> That's, all I want to know. That's all I want to know. Hey, <laughs> I'm in the basement with two Beautiful hands you need to see. That's, that's what I'm playing on. <laughs> I got to, I got to leave, and I, I do, re, uh, I do regret leaving because I'm leaving you here with two, with two ladies. <laughs> you know? Hopefully, don't, he don't, can do lot, don't do a lot of crowing while, while I'm going. Right? Hey, Mr. Rush, I ain't studying you. I ain't studying you. We need, a, we need, we need. I ain't studying you, Mr. Rush. <laughs> we need another roof in the hen house. I got you, baby. I'm so glad you said that. You know, when I come to town, would you? Uh, uh, I would love to come by to see you guys. Please. And, uh, We'd love to God have you. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Please. Love well, to thank you so much. God bless you. God, God bless, bless you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye bye. You know I'm crazy about you, babe. I'm just crazy about you, mama. Crazy about you, woman, but you. You don't care nothing in this world for me She don't care nothing for me Last night In my lonely room I couldn't sleep For thinking about you Wake up every morning, my pillow be soaking wet, wild, wild. I love and I lost you, but I haven't forgotten you yet. I'm still crazy about you, babe. Crazy about you, babe. I'm just wild about you, mama. Crazy about you, girl. You know I'm crazy about this woman. But she don't care nothing in this world for me She don't care nothing for me I'm crazy Lord, I'm crazy about you I tell you I'm crazy I'm so crazy about you I love this woman I love this woman I love her From my head Clean down to her toe If you know what I mean I love this woman <laughs> Yes, I'm in love I'm in love When I look at it from this angle, nice. From this angle, nice. From the back, nice, nice. 
From the front. Hot damn real nice. Tell you, tell you, it's so nice. Cross my heart, swag's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please? How about a hand for Kila? Nice. Tell you so nice. So